<laughs> Hello there. So I am starting a new series on the blog that uh, I interview the people in Shotgun while I drive them around. I, um, it's called so, Shotgun Stories. Sh- sh- stories from the Shotgun. That sounds terrible. Shotgun Stories. That sounds better. Cool. All right, my first guy interviewee will be my friend David Wayne Killingsworth. David? What up? Quick bio, please. David Killingsworth, 25 years old, graduate of the Florida State University, degree in theater, class of 2007, uh, getting married in May. To, to, really? To Megan. <laughs> and that's it. I live in Orlando. That's about all you need to know, I guess. Dave and I, as you will see after this, uh, we went to a Monster Jam rally last night. And it's everything you would think of when I say the words. Besides say Monster Jam, Monster Truck Jam. There's a key word there. Think of Monster Trucks, and that's exactly what you get. 73,000 people filled up the stadium. Grave digger, baby. I was the only one not wearing camo. So, <laughs> it was all right. I fit in really well. David, um, favorite movie? Favorite movie, Shawshank Redemption. Why? I just, I love the surprise ending, and uh, it's epic, and it's Morgan Freeman, and it's impossible not to like Morgan Freeman. Favorite band? Ooh, tough call. I don't know that I can answer that one. Um, I really like B.B. King. I really like Van Morrison. I don't know those aren't bands. Those are artists, but... Uh, Who are you, 60 years old? Yeah, well, ask me my favorite hobby. <laughs> I don't even know if B.B. King's alive. He is alive. I've seen him twice in concert, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could still move. Um, He's an excellent guitar player. Favorite hobby? Is that what you just uh, asked? Jigsaw me? puzzle. Bah! <laughs> you know, I don't like the shotgun did. stories anymore. I don't uh, <laughs> think it's a terrible idea. Well, I was in Australia. I did. I didn't say this, but I did see the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. You did? Yeah. The twenty-four thousand piece. Yeah. I did. I'm a complete dork, <laughs> and everyone on your blog knows that. Oh, great. Twenty-four thousand <laughs> freaking pieces. Okay. Um, is there a take two on this one? No. Nope. Nope. Dave, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. As we drive by Crystal Burgers. Not Crystal Burgers. Look at that butter chicken. That's, uh, that's <laughs> terribly disgusting. Um, one thing for the rest of my life, uh, can it be like a genre of food? No, Big, like one oh. meal. Um, you know what? It's going to sound sort of plain, but the Subway Club. <laughs> For the rest of your life. I don't know why, but I love that sandwich. A lot of people hate the Subway. Okay. These days. Do you put yellow mustard or honey mustard on it? I don't. I stopped putting mustard on it for a while. What? But I've come back because uh, for those of you out there in the internet world, uh, yellow mustard has many health effects, including antioxidant powers. So go to with yellow mustard. Um, so I'd have to say yellow. Yellow grain mustard. Can you just fine. say no yellow mustard? No, I, I like yellow mustard these days. Okay. Um, Turning out to be a longer interview than I originally thought. What is um, that noise? It's raining. Um, it's not raining. <laughs> last question. Okay. Did I mention Dave and I have known each other for 10 years? 10 years, I think. That's I said almost that. half my lifetime. The first time I met Dave, I thought his name was Max. Because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had to th- think of the rhyme D A V backwards three, that is me. Come from Tallahassee. Come That's from Tallahassee. Get the verses right. And I forever will know Dave. Some people call him David. I think I'm talking to a three-year-old when I call him David. So he's just Dave. D-A-V backwards Is this three. real life? <laughs> That's David. That's the real this. David yeah, from right. After the Dentist. All right, real fast. Uh, last question. I can't think of it. My favorite question it might be a little inappropriate. Do it. Are you a folder or a crumpler when it comes to toilet okay, paper? this is the easiest question in the entire world. Crumpler based entirely on yes. surface area. Okay, if you <laughs> fold, you got to get more sheets and you fold them over, you've just wasted half of your fold. You crumple, you got ridges, you got everything in there, they're working in your advantage, and you are good to go, my friend. <laughs> that was really great. I just do it because I'm lazy. I don't well, still have the time to fold. That's what my theory was. It no. tells me about if you're an organizer or an organized person, well, if you're I a crumpler consider, or a folder. I consider myself pretty organized, but I still crumple. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Sayonara from A1A. Peace out. Oh, you're just going to say Beachfront Avenue. Beach, oh, girls were hot wearing less than bikinis. Rock A1A. Beachfront Avenue. See ya.